Gabby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with a drugstore makeup haul uh, from Walmart, to be exact. So I have this little box full of makeup. Ooh, and everything was like around ten dollars and under. People are sleeping on Walmart. Okay, so if you want to see the products that I picked up, and we're also going to put them on together then just keep watching here we go okay i brought we're like on the same level with each other so hopefully that can make the makeup application just a little bit easier i have my skincare on but as you can see i have nothing else on and i am so excited for these products i will say amazon also has affordable prices for makeup like drugstore makeup in particular but walmart is like Oh, so good. I do Walmart Plus, so I pay for the subscription, and we get our groceries delivered every week. And in those orders, we'll throw in household things. I'll put in like beauty items or bathroom items, just whatever we need. And around my birthday, I was looking at buying makeup from like Ulta and Sephora, and I was like, I just really cannot spend this money <laughs> like forty dollars for a foundation i just like really can't do it like emotionally and some financially uh like for example the it cosmetic cc plus that i love is like almost ten dollars more than it used to be oh uh, what oh what 2023 what so that's like seeing, because that was going to be what I splurge on. I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go drop that $38. We're going to just enjoy it. And then, skirt, 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 47 No. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, let me go to Walmart and see what I can find. And I was also watching some of Jen Phelps drugstore videos to see like, what is she recommending here recently and all of that. So I got this order and this, each item was about $10 each, maybe somewhere a little more, maybe somewhere a little less. Uh, and then I did get two free items because I had ordered two items to come in my grocery delivery and they sent me a message that said they were not in store could they deliver them and it would take like a couple of days to ship them and I said yeah that's fine but then they put in as close as they could get uh in the that same order whoever was doing the shopping just picked like similar items so I was like oh so I guess I'm not getting the other things shipped but then a couple of days later those came <laughs> So I don't know what happened on their end. We're just going to roll with it. But we did get two free items. So we're going to kind of apply these and talk about them. I don't have enough for a full face. So I'll fill in with some other drugstore items that I am currently using that you could still get from Walmart for, you know, $10 or so. So the first thing that I wanted to get was the uh, NYX Fat oil lip drip these are so popular right now everyone's saying they're like high-end what are they comparing them to like dior or something so i had to try them there's a few colors but this obviously is the clear color they call it my main which makes sense because you know we throw on a clear gloss slash oil as the main source so i have used this once and it was nice uh, mm, it's moisturizing. It has like the fat, uh, dome foot. Feels nice. There's like a slight scent, but it's not too bad. So I have been enjoying this already. I don't have a primer, so we'll just go ahead and use my Maybelline Instant Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 as the primer. I will say, oh, this one is in 00 Fairlight. Maybelline is like one of the few drugstore brands that they like stay true to their price as drugstore. Like obviously everything has gone up, but I feel like they're not like gouging. Like L'Oreal, for example, some of her products, she thinks she's high end. I'm like, girl, 
you're sitting next to Maybelline at my Walmart. Like, what are you doing? But Maybelline, I respect for always keeping good quality, good application, nice variety, but still keeping a true drugstore price. So this obviously is glowy, so you gotta like, gotta like the glow, but that's what we're working with for the primer. I do want to get a new primer soon. I did buy a primer. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, here it is. This is the uh, e.l.f. Power Gripped Primer. It's the one like that's blue-green. They have a pink one. We're going to just go ahead and put this over. I am unwell. <laughs> I'm clearly unwell. Okay, wow. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this on. I think this is the one that Julie had when she came and we did our Get Ready With Me that I, I used some of her makeup. But I've heard so many good things. And the one that I tried from her, which I think was this one, I did really like. It has a pump. Um, it looks like that. All right. Well, my bad. We're just going to put it over. I was like, wait. I feel like I wanted to get a primer. Why didn't I get a primer? And I was like, girl, you did get a primer. What is wrong with you? Like... <laughs> All right, but this has to like dry down a little bit. So actually the primer was one of the items that they said that they would ship to me and then they gave me something similar. So the one that they had given me is the e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer with salicylic acid. It looks like this, it's green. I've never used this before. Um, it does have a pump obviously. I like that it has an expiration date on the bottom, but we'll have to try this another time. I've never used it. It's still like sealed up and see how we feel about it, but yeah, we did get a primer. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. I did purchase two foundations, so I know I love the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and I'm typically in the color... Soft Ivory, Classic Ivory in 1, 2, Neutral. That looks like this. I've gone through many of these in or over the years. They did change the top. It used to be like silver. And now it's this pretty pink color. I will say this came from Walmart's store. And it was like opened or whatever. Uh, which I think is okay for a pump. But it's still like, I guess the shopper. Maybe that was the only one or the shopper just wasn't really paying attention. But I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> so this is a repurchase for me. I know I like it and love it. Um, and then I always love the L'Oreal Pro Glow. My color is 202. This is nice and glowy, but it's not too glowy. Um, this one's almost empty, though, so I wanted to replace it. So I got that. And then the one that I want, because I wanted to try something different, and one that Jen Phelps talked about was the L'Oreal True Match. This is the super blendable foundation. They repackaged it to have a pump. I'm not sure if they, like, redid the formula when they repackaged or if it's just truly a new bottle. But my color is N1 Neutral Light. So how I found my color is I went to Ulta's website and I searched this foundation and they have like find my shade. So I entered in this foundation because this is a good color for me and it told me this color would be the best color for me. So then I ordered it from Walmart because at Ulta, this is like $4 more. Like why? It's the exact same product. Like why, why are you like this, Ulta? <laughs> but I have used this a couple of times and I really, really like it. It's, um, I would say light slash medium coverage. It blends really well and it just has a nice natural kind of satin finish. It's not matte and it's not glowy. So we're going to use this one today because I've never used this on camera whereas over the years I've used this one quite a bit. So I like to do uh, like three pumps like that and then I have an actual beauty blender and so I just kind of stamp it around and then I start blending it out so this is a good match it looks a little bit light for me as I blend it out 
but once it's actually blended it looks nice so we're gonna get along the hairline press get under the eyes it seems to be going over that grit primer really well not having any problems with that it blends in super easy that's what i like about the l'oreal pro glow is it blends in really easy this is just a little bit late for me now but in about a month because winter is here or almost here darkness is definitely here um it will be more of a a match but i just think it's so pretty it's light you can see my skin is still coming through but my skin has been evened out so good all right just double checking i i really didn't buy concealer i was looking at concealers but i'm also trying to pan a couple of sides like let's not so we'll use the one i have which is the maybelline age eraser multi-use concealer this one is in 120 classic ivory so i just like to do it right under my eyes this is nice you just kind of twist it and the product comes up this is a nice product sometimes this product doesn't play well with other products and it can be like i don't know kind of weird but i don't always have that experience most times i have a good experience with it but just worth noting Take it onto my lids, pat it out, pat it out, pat it out. Pretty! All right. I did not buy a powder because I am trying to pan a powder, which is also a drugstore. I don't know that you can get it at Walmart though. I'll have to look, but it's the number seven lift and illuminate triple action finishing powder in light it's a project pan item you can see i'm making progress so i'm going to take a like a smaller dense brush and set under the eyes first there is a liquid foundation that is in this line this lift and illuminate line and jen on her um what was I watching? Maybe it was like a drugstore declutter or her drugstore favorite foundations. I don't remember. But uh, she really liked that one. But I haven't really seen that one in store or online. So I haven't tried it. Have you guys tried it? Do you have any feelings, thoughts or feelings about it? Alright, once we get the up under eyes uh, set, we're going to go in with a fluffier brush from Real Techniques. And then we're going to lightly set the rest of the product just because we want to ensure that the rest of the powder products will blend easy and they will not be patchy. And I like to pat it in, pat, 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 opposed to swiping. Swiping can move your liquid products. I didn't get a new blush, bronzer, or highlight or eyeshadow palette, so I just pulled some out of my collection that I know is affordable and you can get at Walmart. So the first is the Maybelline City Bronzer, and this particular one is in 100, and this is such a nice bronzer. So I'm just going to take a Real Techniques uh, multi-task brush, and I'm just going to pat it in. And then I've been doing more of like in my hairline, and I just stamp it all the way through, all the way down. And then I'll take it on the tops of my cheek. And then seam on the other side. Take a little bit around my nose and around my jaw. And then run it down my neck. Super light, but you can see it adds a nice bronze. Then my current favorite drugstore blush that I talk about a lot and some of you have recently purchased because of how much I've talked about it the Milani baked uh, blush this one is in Dulce Pink 01 love this one so much and it has a little bit of a glow so you could get away with uh, not using a highlight if you wanted 
and this is nice because it's buildable so I just stay above my cheek and I just stamp everything I do with powders is just stamp 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 and I will build it up quite a few times like three or four times loading the brush every time because this particular blush it just looks good like I just feel like there's nothing you can do that messes it up like it's so pretty then just using the same blush brush this one isn't is from bling uh, where we'll go in with a highlight. So we're going to go in with the Revlon Skin Lights. This is the Daybreak Glimmer 201. This is such a nice highlight. And I've been using a big brush like this, like my blush brush. And I just lightly stamp on the tops of my cheek because I find the big brush diffuses it so much that I don't get like a streak. Like it just looks like I'm radiating... <laughs> Like, I'm just so glowy and beautiful. <laughs> it's all because I just use, like, a thicker, fluffier brush and then just kind of apply it that way. And then I'll take the original powder brush and with no extra product, just kind of blend it out. So going under, going around my cheek, same on the other side. Run it down where we had that bronzer, make sure everything's blended and then over at the top so simple so quick always looks flawless it's so good <sighs> makes me happy all right and then we're gonna go very simple with eyes today just because this isn't the star of the show but this is the nudes of new york by maybelline this is in my opinion one of the best drugstore eyeshadow palettes you can find. There are nice um, eyeshadow like singles you can buy or duos you can buy. Uh, but I really like this. And I know the Wet n Wild ones are pretty popular. But in my opinion, this quality is a little bit better. So what I do, as you can tell when I show you, Dreamer here is my favorite color. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this as a one and done. And I will start with my finger and I'll just stamp 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 it on to my lid and I'll build up that intensity just a little bit and I will do just like the blush like three or four layers and I will load with product before each time and I am a little bit sloppy with this because I'll take a brush, like a fluffy crease brush, and I'll just blend it out. And then there is a um, color in here called Art Artist, just like a skin tone color. And I will load the brush up with that and just kind of go around so we're blending everything out. Just want it to look pretty seamless. Yep, nice and simple. Okay, so we have some eye products that I want to use. The first is the Voluminous Original Mascara by L'Oreal in Deep Burgundy. They have quite a few colors out in this line. I think Julie had Deep Bur Burgundy, but years and years ago, I have tried the blue in this. But I want to try the burgundy and see what I think about it. I know this formula in general is really good. So let's see here. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see. It's pretty subtle. It's not super in your face. I really like to hold like a mirror down and then apply from there. really like this brush. Okay, that is one coat, so let's go in with a second. So far you can't tell that it's a burgundy color. I really like how it fanned out my, lace, my, <laughs> my lashes and lengthened them. Uh, they look really good. Again, I can't super notice that it's burgundy. It kind of just looks more like a brown color once it's on. But maybe different lighting through the day would help it look more burgundy. 
but I really like the application of that and I like how my lashes look right now so that's just a fun little product to use I have tried the brow stylist from L'Oreal many times but I typically get taupe or I've gotten when I had blonde hair blonde but I wanted to try to get light brunette because this is my natural hair color and you can see it's a light brunette color so I'm curious what this will look like on my lashes I know that the formula is good at least with this brand um, I think L'Oreal and Maybelline are my favorite yeah L'Oreal Maybelline are my favorite drugstore price, uh, brands elf is good elf would be a good second I think those are primarily it I have some Revlon stuff I have some elf stuff I have some essence and Milani stuff but I would say like go-to would be Maybelline and L'Oreal here's what the color looks like I think that will look nice so we'll just start putting it through my lashes super light hand just kind of following the natural shape okay hey hi brows how are you today how are you what is this brunette is that what I said light brunette okay it's definitely a little bit darker than I'm used to seeing but not bad I don't know I like it I'll have to see like through the day looking at myself like if I feel like it looks like me but I like it so far so yeah it's different I had a clear brow gel from Merit Beauty so I wanted to try a drugstore one and I found uh, this Express Brow by Maybelline and they did have it in different colors but I got the clear transparent one and it has a nice like small applicator and I think the packaging even though it's like gray and simple is really cute I don't know I kind of kind of thought it looked a little bit high end I don't know we'll see um it feels light though <laughs> it doesn't feel high end but it looks nice um okay yeah nice applicator just gonna brush it through Definitely a lot of product, but not too much. That was so easy. Just kind of brushing them up. I think it looks nice. I'm still adjusting to the co like the color of my brows, but I feel like it does match like my hair. So we're not like all the way out there with it, but that's exciting okay and then the last product actually I can't throw it in I can't throw products in this box because I'll accidentally throw them away I'm bad about that okay so let me make sure there is just trash in here all right we have two more products left all right so this is the second product where they had given me one and then sent me what I ordered uh, so what I had ordered was the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Spray because I've heard such good things about this and I have used it one time and I liked it. But what they sent that I didn't want was the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist from e.l.f. that looks like this. And my concern with this is every time in the past I've tried like a dewy setting spray, it has a little bit of an oil and that's what creates the dew, but I don't like that oil feeling on my face. So I thought maybe I could just spray it on my hand and see if it has that texture or not. Because if it does, I'm not here for it. Oh yeah, it's a coconut smell. <laughs> okay, it is dewy. Alright, let's do this. I can't really tell if it has um like a an oil to it but it definitely has a smell so we'll go in the, with this one first and when it says micro fine setting spray or setting mist they are not joking 
Uh, and this says wears up to 16 hours. So we'll do this first. It's like water. A true mister. Which is nice because then you're not getting like heavy drops of it on you. Whew, that dry down just a little bit. I really like the way my makeup looks right now. Different colors like on the brows and the lashes, but I like it. Alright, and then we'll go in with this one. I'm scared. I'm scared. It's like suntan lotion. Like the cheap, no offense, but like the cheap smelling ones. It's okay. Okay, I did not get a lip product, so let's just go in with a classic, which is the Maybelline Super Vinyl Ink. Super Stay Vinyl Ink. This one's N35 Cheeky. You do want to shake them first. This is like a gloss, but I guess a thicker gloss, and it does have really good wear time. And they have a good bit of color options. I am just kind of putting it over that oil, which will um, take away some of its wear time, having it be that glossy, but it's still so pretty. So that is everything. That is the final look. Bring my hair down so we can see it more with the brows. Look how long it is. You know, we're just going to get, we're just on a girl. Okay. She's just, just going to keep going until I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> But yeah, this is the final look. I think I think it's nice. Like I like my skin. Like looking at it in the mirror, I think that the primers <laughs> primers <laughs> look good. I think that foundation looks good. The concealer is nice and light on these aging under eyes. I do, the more I look at my eyebrows, I do like them because I think they match my hair more than having like a taupe color brow pencil. You can't really see that the eyelashes are burgundy. That's my dog Goldie. Uh, the bronzer blush highlight, now that was new. I know that I like those products. That's why I picked them. Um, but I just love like a natural glowy makeup. And it was all drugstore. Like, all of this stuff is around $10. I think the Nudes of New York is maybe a little bit more. And Revlon is a little bit more. But otherwise... Oh, and I do like the setting sprays. Um, I've worn the e.l.f. one before. And I liked it all day. This does not... The dewy one doesn't have a super oily finish. It does have a little bit but it seems to be drying down. I've had experiences with dewy ones in the past where they didn't dry down at all and I do fitness for a living so I can't have products on my face that are not drying down uh, but this it has a little tack but it's not too bad. I feel like it'll keep drying down so I like it. I think it's cute. I, I'm vibing with it. So let me know if any of these products have you tried them um what is your experience if you have are you interested in trying them let me know we love a deal all right but that's all i have for you today please subscribe if you're new like this video if you liked it <laughs> and i will see you in my next video bye